Everyone dated the demise of our neighborhood from the suicides of the Lisbon girls. People saw their clairvoyance in the wiped out elms and harsh sunlight. Some thought the tortures tearing the Lisbon girls pointed to a simple refusal to accept the world as it was handed down to them, so full of flaws. But the only thing we are certain of after all these years is the insufficiency of explanation. Obviously, Doctor, you've never been a 13-year-old girl. time on, the Lisbon house began to change. Almost every day, and even when she wasn't keeping an eye on Cecilia, Lux would suntan on her towel, wearing a swimsuit that caused the knife sharpener to give her a 15-minute demonstration for free. The only reliable boy who got to know Lux was Trip Fontaine, who only 18 months before the suicides had emerged from baby fat, to the delight of girls and mothers alike. shut the house to maximum security isolation. The girls' only contact with the outside world was through the catalogs they ordered that started to fill the Lisbon's mailbox with pictures of high-end fashions and brochures for exotic vacations. Unable to go anywhere, the girls traveled in their imaginations to gold-tipped Siamese temples or past an old man with a leaf broom hiding a moss-covered speck of Japan. And Cecilia hadn't died. She was a bride in Calcutta. Collecting everything we could of theirs, we couldn't get the Lisbon girls out of our minds. But they were slipping away. The colors of their eyes were fading, along with exact locations of moles and dimples. From five, they had become four, and they were all the living and the dead, becoming shadows. We would have lost them completely if the girls hadn't contacted us. Lux was the last to go. Fleeing from the house, we'd forgotten to stop at the garage. After the suicide free-for-all, Mr. and Mrs. Lisbon gave up any attempt to lead a normal life. They had Mr. Headley back up the house, selling what furniture he could in a garage sale. Everyone went just to look. Our parents did not buy used furniture, and they certainly didn't buy furniture tainted by death. 
We, of course, took the family photos that were put out with the trash. Mr. Lisbon put the house on the market and it was sold to a young couple from Boston. It didn't matter in the end how old they had been. I thought they were girls. But only that we had loved them. And that they hadn't heard us calling. Still do not hear us. Calling them out of those rooms where they went to be alone for all time. Alone in suicide. Which is deeper than death. And where we will never find the pieces to put them back together.
strong this storm. A hurricane occurs when high pressure and low pressure masses of air come in contact with one another. There is often a significant difference in temperature between the two masses. One mass is warm, while the other is cold. The warmer air rises and the cooler air falls. Likewise, the low pressure area slides down the sides of the high pressure area. They swirl in and around one another, creating the beginnings of the storm. <laughs> 